Okay, this video is going to show you how to use Edpuzzle to create a video lesson activity. And the first thing we want to do is we want to go to edpuzzle.com. So I'm going to do that now. And I've been there a lot, so it's going to show up. And you're going to get to this page here. And, and on this page, you're going to see the two big buttons in the middle. And uh, we've already done the student part of it. And uh, you'll probably be, you'll probably want to collect click on the teacher start now button but for the purposes of this video and since I'm going to be kind of walking you through the tutorial rather than letting Edpuzzle do it I'm going to ask that you click in the top right corner where it says login so in the top right corner I'm clicking login and of course I'm logging in as the teacher and I'm going to log in with my Google account so you've already logged in or you probably already logged in to your Google uh, Salinas UHSD dot org account and I'm going to click that and it's going to ask me I have two um, Google accounts set up on this computer and I'm going to use my uh, my school address here so I'm going to click that and here I am I'm now into Edpuzzle now in order to get started um, let's look over this interface it looks a little busy but um, the first thing you want to do is right underneath where it says my classes is add a class is make your own class so give this give this an appropriate class name just for the purposes of this example I'm just gonna call this my class and I'll check mark that and notice I've got a class code this is what you're gonna to want to distribute to your students this class code right here and it is case sensitive so be aware of that and it gives me a little note about that. I'm going to click Will Do. Okay, so now that I've got my class set up, now I can search for videos. And that's moving from the left to the right. Notice the left, the top button says Search. Notice there's also a button here that says My Contact. That's where your videos are, where your videos will be stored. And then, of course, you have My Classes. And that's this page right here. That's your default page. So I'm going to click Search. And the video I want to use to model for this, uh, to model how to use Edpuzzle is uh, One on Grit. Maybe you've seen it by Angela, Angela Lee Duckworth, former teacher, and now she's an academic psych, studying psychology. And I'm going to click on YouTube, and I'm going to type in Grit. And there's the video that I want to use. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on Use It. And now I've opened up the video, but I've opened it up, this YouTube video, but I've opened it up within Edpuzzle. Notice that there's the title of the video at the top. I've got my save and finish buttons at the top, and then I've got these four buttons. But what I really want to uh, take a look at, what I really want to acknowledge here is just the simplicity of this interface. Not a lot of buttons, not a lot of noise, not a lot of busyness, but just a, a pretty elegant interface and an elegant place to, an easy to work, an easy place to work from. So um, notice that this crop button is already highlighted. So I can crop this video if I want, and I'll, and I'll demonstrate that. There's uh, some other tools here within Edpuzzle that I can use as well. There's audio track, and there's video audio notes, and there is quizzes, and quizzes are questions. And um, we will talk about all four of those, all four of those editing features. The first thing I want to do is I want to trim this video and I will demonstrate that. I'm just gonna trim the first few seconds off of it. Um, so that's the first 20 seconds, just the part where it says Ted. So let me show that. When I was 20... And so I wanna edit just to right where um, Right, be, right where she begins. So I'm going to go to about 11 seconds. So I'm, going to, I'm just trimming, and I'm just trimming by moving that handle, that red handle, to the left to trim the beginning. I could also, if I wanted to trim the end, I could also trim here as well. But for right now, I'm just going to trim that beginning part to about 11, let's see, 12, let's make it right there. I'm going to trim right to there, right where she begins talking. And uh, so that's trimming. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding questions. And um, I'm going to add, there's different question types to add. And I'm going to add first, I'm going to add a, let's add a uh, multiple choice question. So I'm going to add a multiple choice question. Let's see, maybe right about here. I 
went to teach seventh graders Oops. math. Oh, Let's back it up a little bit. When I was 27 years old, I left a very demanding job in management consulting for a job that was even more demanding. Okay, so I'm going to ask a multiple choice question here, and I'll do that by clicking on the quizzes button. And notice once I ask, once I click on the quizzes button, I have this uh, this this button or the logo or the uh, the button down here changes, and I'll click on that question mark, and now I have this area over here where I can add a question. So I'm going to add, what job could be more demanding than teaching, than, excuse me, than management consulting? Okay. And I'm not going to make this an open-ended question. I'll make this a multiple choice question. And I'll put CEO of a Fortune 500 company. And I'm going to make that's the that's an incorrect answer. And then I'll do a professional wrestler, which is a hard job. And that's also going to be my incorrect answer. It's also going to be an incorrect answer. And, and my correct answer here is going to be teacher. And I'll click on that check mark to make that the correct answer. So now I've added a multiple choice question. I can preview it if I want. And it, it looks good. And I will click. Let's get rid of that period to keep it consistent. And I'll click Save. And now I've added a multiple choice question. Notice here, Edpuzzle has added a marker for that. It's placed that question right here. And that's how I can go back to that. And I can click on it here if I wanted to. And I can edit it. Um, if I needed to, but I'm going to move on. The next thing I want to do is I want to add a uh, I want to add a a uh, free response question. And so um, I've already watched this video, and um, so I'm going to fast forward. After I click continue, I'll fast forward to the point where I want to do that, and that's going to be about at the 3:20 mark. So let's get exactly where we, where I want it. Grit is having stamina. Grit is sticking with your future, day in, day out, not just for the week, not just for the month, but for years, and working really hard to make up. that future a reality. Grit is living life like it's a marathon, not a sprint. A few years ago, I started studying grit in the Chicago public schools. Okay, so at about this point, I probably could do it a little bit earlier, I'm going to add another question. And again, I'm going to click on that question mark down here. And again, this is an open-ended question. And the an open-ended question I want to ask is, do you agree with Dr. Duckworth that grit is the biggest predictor of success and there it is I'll check it I like it I could preview it if I wanted and I'll click save and notice I've got that I've got another question mark here uh, that's been added as a as a bookmark on this video as a place mark or as a placeholder for that question okay so I've added a multiple choice question I've also added a um, an open-ended question and uh, I will add I'll add a comment next. Comments are nice if you want to um, call it the student's attention to something in the video without asking a question. And so I'll do that. And like I said, I've already seen the video and it's up here a little bit further what along. What do I do to teach and my remarks are not fixed? They're much more likely to persevere when they fail because they don't believe that failure is a permanent condition. So growth mindset is a great idea for building grit. Okay, so here I'm going to add a comment, um, and in this comment I want to link the people who are watching this video or give them the opportunity to go watch another video about growth mindset. So I'm going to click on the question mark, I'm going to click on the comment button, and I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say for more information 
about growth mindset. See Carol Wex TED Talk at the following link. And so I'll go find that. Let's see where, let's see, I'll open up a new link or open up a new tab. So I just opened up a new tab at the top and I'm going to search. So I just did that by clicking this button right here. And so I will look for Carol. Oh, that popped up right there. Carol Dweck Tech Talk. And there it is. So I'll click on that. And there's the link that I want. So I'm gonna highlight the link at the top. I'm gonna to copy it and I'm gonna paste it in this space here. And now I've got that, I've got that comment created. So there, there it is, there's the comment, the two questions, and I still haven't shown how to do the audio track and the audio notes. For the purpose of this, we're gonna skip the audio track. Now the audio track is something that could be very useful um, if you wanted to do an explanation about something in your own words. In other words, you would, if you clicked on this button, you would be replacing the audio of the video and you would be doing it in your own words. And this could be effective if, if you're a language teacher, for example, and you want to translate something or perhaps you're, um, you want to change some of the language for some of the learners in your classrooms. Um, this, this could be a way to do that. And you'd click this button and then you'd click this button and it would, again, m make your voice the, tr the audio track and get rid of the one that's in the video. But for the purposes of this, um, because I don't want to replace her voice for this video, um, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to do an audio track, but I will add an audio note. An audio note is another opportunity to add your voice, but in this case, it's just at one place in the video. And a good way to do this, or a good, a, good, a good strategy for using this could be to add it at the beginning to introduce the video or add it at the end. Um, in this case, I'm going to add a comment at the beginning. And I'm going to do that by clicking on this. I'm going to say something like, the following video is about grit. There are two questions, one multiple choice and one open-ended. And there's also a comment with a link to another resource. I hope you enjoy it. And then I'll click that again and I'll stop it. And notice if I wanted to, I could remove, remove it if I wanted, or I could remove all notes um, if I had multiple notes. Okay, so that's, I've added, I've added a note, I've added two questions and a comment, and uh, that, that, about, um, that about shows almost all of the editing features that are available within Edpuzzle. Again, pretty simple. And I'll click Save. It's going to upload my voice, and I will click Finish. And now I can assign it, and so I'm going to assign it I have all these, I have four classes here, and I'm going to assign it to my class. And notice I have some superpowers down here. I can prevent skipping. And what this means is the students can't skip until they've answered the question. And I believe it says, they, yeah, so it says, preview, prevent your students from skipping content net, not yet watched. So they can't skip around. They can't click around the video. They have to watch the whole thing. And so I'll check that. And then also there is a, um, I can add a due date if I'd like. And in this case, I'll just leave that um, not checked. I won't add a due date at this point, but you certainly could. And I'll click send. And now it should be in my class and it drops it into my class. Notice it's in my class. I'm giving that message about the class code again, and there's that video. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I wanna show you. So I've, I've shown you about the class code. I've shown you how to edit a video and open up a video and find a video within Edpuzzle. And uh, now it's your turn to, uh, to make this work for your own learning environment. Good luck.